ठीक है स्टार्ट होने वाले ओके सो यस स्टडी वी हैव लर्नड अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ शेल्स एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ शेल्स सो वी हैव थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ शेल बेसिकली बैश सी एस सी शेल एंड के एस एच के शेल कौन सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट बैश so bash born again shell is the most widely used linux shell and it is used in default in linux and mac os so if you are planning to buy mac os in a future then you will be right it will be easy for you to work in mac os also then it can also be installed on windows and then c shell it is similar to c programming language then corn shell that is similar to Uh, like uh, not similar to but it is used as a base for posix shell standard specifications so every shell does the same job but they are like as i told you about that uh, like there are multiple languages that are c c++ java and everything is used to do the same thing but the commands and language is different okay so how good is the shell script so these are the benefits that we have learned yesterday so very good for quick one to one task and great for small task and also we can download files and other stuff so it is a great option to automate a set of steps okay and yeah then we move to shell scripting so basically shell scripting is a group of commands that can run multiple commands at once so unix philosophy is this so we try to do one thing at one pro with one program and like if there is a calculator then it should calculate well like it should not be like a calculator is also serving as a music player or some other app the game should work as a game only so that is the thing that every program should do only one thing and perfectly then uh, that is it small utilities and input output error everything is a file so if you are inputting something in your program that again is uh that again is a file if you are getting output from something that that again is file and if something is wrong in the program and error is there and that is again a file so bat is used in windows shell is used in linux so bat scripts are used in windows so if you are using windows os you can create files with the extension .bat that can serve as bat extension and if you are using shell then you can use shell extensions dot sh for using shell scripts and shell scripts and bat scripts are just note uh, like you can create that in a notepad and just from txt you can replace that with bat or sh and that will work as shell scripts so yeah that's it and c++ Uh, so there are shell command shell keywords and function control flow these are the three things that are most important in language so if else break that is same then cd ls echo pwd touch these are the things then uh, if else if then else then case and shell shell loops these are the things that are present in function control flow so cd means change directory ls means list so it lists all the files present in the directory echo is just to print something if you want to print anything then you can use echo echo is similarly like we speak something and that get back to us then pwd is public working present working directory so what that does is if we write pwd in our terminal it will tell us where we are and if we do uh, any command so where the file like suppose you are creating a file in some place you are creating make directory so are you you are writing uh, md mkdir so you should be able to know where you are in the current folder so if you are in desktop then the directory will be created in desktop if you are in another folder then uh, the folder should be known to you like which folder is this and you can move to that folder and then work then there is uh, do we need shell scripts or not so there are many reasons that we choose to write the script so it is used to avoid repetitive uh, repetitive work and automation so yeah and the admins require 
use shell scripting for routine backup as i told you in the yesterday class that uh, all the things are designed to backup in linux so you can create are done by shell script so advantages again so advantages is just the command and syntax are exactly same that is used in command line so the programmer does not need to switch to a different syntax and writing shell scripts is much quicker uh, by quicker i means we can just find out where the error is and how to write a script because the name of every script is very common and very useful in our daily life so we can directly use like pwd ls and mkdir for making directory so that is easy okay and uh, that is the advantages of writing shell scripts so shell script is different from commands because command is a single line command that can that we type and get executed but shell is something which uh, is a group of command a list of command that we use and that get executed so we know it is bad so these are the benefits these are the like advantage disadvantages of these uh, scripts so these are the dis disadvantages so it is designed with flaws and yesterday i've also like we know about that rm rf and file name so it can delete all the files without even asking the users that sh should it be deleted or not so if someone just deleted all the system files that are required for a program to work or maybe you are working on a project and you just did rm dash rf and pro project or folder name then it will delete all the files that are present in the folder without asking you uh, without any second choice or second option so linux scripting command and linux commands are very dangerous if uh, someone using them is not aware of them right then we move on to next thing that is learning the command so the first command is we learned is echo so echo is just to print the standard contents the standard output so standard output is uh, the is the area in our terminal so we, when we write echo and some string string in front of that string or variable or word anything it just prints that so uh, now we will be going into the depth of this echo function so that is important to use okay so this is echo and this is a message without any uh, without any brackets or anything else so that works with linux and it doesn't think it has any other option so it just take it as one thing and just prints everything so this is my message is printed as it is and uh, there are many features about that that we can write it without that uh, quotes and we can also add quotes so the starting code should be same as that of ending code. So these are double quotes and that, that it works. And then if we are using single quotes, then the ending should be done by single quote only. So that is the usage of echo. And it is working sim in similar manner as we did without quotes. Yeah, OK. So we can also write this and uh, uh, that echo dash e dash is a argument that we can use so if you slash n that we use in our command line or programming languages so by using slash n it it changes the format of that and slash n will be treated as next line so that is an argument that we use and since we are using starting with single quote then it should end with single quote on, on also then here comes cat this is the second command that we are going to learn cat is not like cat it is concatenate concatenate means uh, like we want to show the contents of the file like we want the whole text file to be displayed in the terminal so that we can know what is inside this file so that is concatenate so like if we do like echo dash e because we are using slash n so dash e is required and echo java slash n c plus plus then we are using this 
uh, this operator. So this operator is a greater than operator. And what it does is it just puts everything that is present here into this. So it can be anything. It can be a text file. So when we do this thing, so the output of this line, the output of uh, this whole operation will be entered, will be dropped into this languages. So what it means is uh, echo dash e java dash java slash and c plus plus. So definitely it will be giving us this output. So this is the output that we will be getting after running this command. So instead of showing that output to our terminal, what we do is we use this operator and put all the output to languages. So languages is a file that will be created when we run this command. So then when we run cat languages, that means show the contents of languages. It will show the language uh, content of that languages file. So this file can be languages.txt also. If it is not, then also it doesn't matter because the extensions are just used by program to figure out where to run. But if we are aware of where to run this app, then there is no need of extension. OK, so there is any uh, other example for using multiple lines. So echo dashy because you are we are using formatting slash and slash and and all these things. So Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, it is uh, dropped into OSES or OSs. So cat languages OSES. So what it did is in the previous example we created cat languages. So like in the previous example we created languages. Now we have created OSs. So what we did is languages and OSs and it combined all the output of both of these files so which is very nice uh, based on the usage of linux so if you have two or three files then you can just put all the file names after cat and it will just show all the things together now we will be learning about quoting and ex escaping so now what do we mean by quoting quoting is similar to quotes so quotes is uh, using the quotes and putting some sentence or some important thing in uh, quotes. So that is quoting and escaping is the characters that we are using. So like if you are using slash n, if in this case that we are using slash n, so slash n is the escape uh, operator and n is the escape, like escape. Uh, okay, so if we just don't put slash, uh, this backslash here and if we just put n here so it will be printing n here but since we are using slash n so slash n is itself a enter so it is new line operator when we use this it uh, just prints the value in a new line and that's it so that is quoting and escaping so quote is this once you stop learning you start dying that is by albert einstein since this is in quotes double quotes that is a quoted sentence and yeah that's it so what is quoting so we will just be learning with the example so quote echo this is my message it will work fine without any issue if we write echo and double quotes this is my message then also it will work in a similar manner and also we can write echo and single quotes this is my message it will be displayed without any issue so all three sentences are same then why we will require using quoting and we can write everything without quoting but uh, you can see that this message is like hardly readable by any person uh, because it is not quoting so we don't know where it started or where it ended but with quotes we can easily see that this message started from here and ended from ended to here okay uh, then we will learn about quoting so what is quoting so quoting is uh, just putting the sentence into quotes that is quoting. So right, if you are using and writing the sentence without any uh, any other operator or any other symbol, then it will be fine without quoting. Like in this case, we are using a simple, very simple message without any other character. So that will work fine. But as we just added this uh, curly brackets, it is saying that unexpected token because that is not understood by the uh, compiler or that is not understood by the uh, 
uh, shell. So what I have to do, what we have to do is we have to put the hole into quotes. So when we put into quotes, then this quote is covering the sentence and it will work without any issue. So good times are coming and that in brackets, same thing is printed. And again, the next sentence, if you are using single quotes, then also it will work in the similar way. OK, so that is the same slide. Then escaping. So why do we want to escape anything? OK, so there is an easy way to escape. And why we want to escape is this. OK, so we are writing echo. This is a little star. We wanted this complete thing to be present in a uh, in a sentence in our sentence. But what it is that uh, what it did is this star is used to show all the files that are present in the folder. So as we know in the previous uh, slides, we have created languages and OSs. So these are the files that are present in this folder. So when we did echo star, even if we do echo and star. It will show all the files that are present in there. So instead of star considered as this little star, it considered that as a command that is echo star. So echo star will display all the files and it displayed all the files. So there is something we need. Uh, we need to uh, present the little star with the whole thing. So here we will do this again. We will use quotes. So after putting it in quotes, the star is visible with the little star, and it is not used by the compiler to present any other value. All right. And this final thing is echo. This is a little star and slash star. So this is the previous sentence that is modified in this case. And this is backed by a backslash. And so why it is backslash? And let me just uh, like tell you an, an analogy which which can be used anytime to find know if that is backslash or forward slash so this is a slash and this is a slash if you just look at your keyboard you will find yeah you are looking in the right way the one above the enter and one uh, like in the left side of shift key so which one is the one we want so this one is how to know which one is this so it is backslash or front 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 slash right so let's just assume that the gravity in this place is over gravity in this place is over and uh, gravity in this place is over and we want to just know where the thing will fall so definitely this will fall this way and this one will fall this way and this is backward this is forward so this is the backward slash and this is a forward slash and it is really important to know the difference between both of these uh, because uh, most of the things require backward slash and most of the times we will require forward slash so the backward slash will fall backward if we remove the support and forward slash will fo fall forward this thing is called backward slash and in the same line in the same line that we used and the star was converted to language and OSs, we use slash star so by slash star what it means is it converted the whole thing into a simple thing so just like slash n slash t for tabs slash b for backspace similarly slash star is just a star slash n is just enter slash t is tab stab slash b is backspace so these are the escape characters so when we use slash backslash n and then operator or the character that we want it will just print the symbol without without using it okay
okay so that star is presented as star when we used backslash so let's move forward what if my parameter has quotes so that is again a good question but if i want to print the quotes in the symbol in the project if we want to present print the thing in the echo what to do then this is a easy situation so this is uh, this is dave situation so what it is is we, we just wanted to print this one and this one was printed easily by using two quotes at the starting and end and it gets printed yeah that's uh, that's easy that's simple but what if i want to print both of these quotes what if i want both type of quotes to be present there so this is the only way to print that so we use backslash and then quote and then again backslash and another quote so this is presented as this so this is used as dash uh, because the starting and ending is covered by this double quotes so that is the way to present all the spatial characters right so echo this is a situation so situation is printed without quotes and uh, single quotes this is a situation so this is presented as double quotes but if you want to present both of these quotes then what we have to do is we have to just uh, back, uh, cover it with backslash so this is Dave's situation. So Dave is covered with backslash and this one is also covered with backslash and this one is also present. So this one needs to be present at all the time. Now we will be moving towards variables. So as we know in all the programming language, we are using some of the variables that are used to store the values. So variables are uh, the values that are stored in a variable that can vary at any time. So how to create variables in shell scripting, right? Because shell is similar to Python and C, C++, Java. So there should be like something known as variables also. So that is very easy in this. So what we have to do is where equal to this and where equal to this. So what it will do is it will store the value of this into where. The where is the name of variable and it is kept keeping the value this. So how to use that? We can use that with a dollar sign. So echo my value is dollar sign where. So where will where was containing this and uh, this entered here and my value is this. So the value is there. Okay, so let's do another thing. If you want to execute the value in a double quotes because we will require double quotes to execute that value so we will do this again echo my value is dollar where and it will get executed again it will get executed again and converted to this but if you are using single quotes then this value will not get executed then this value will not get executed because that is uh, defined in the single quotes instructions or uh, the way it is created so if you are using single quotes then slash uh, dollar where will not be converted to its value right so that thing you need to take care of just uh, like summing it up again double quotes if double quotes are there then that variable will change its value to the variable if single quotes are there that variable will not be converted to the new value okay so that is again an interview question uh, i know we have a lot of interview questions still now and again this is an important interview question so so that is it example is equal to quote so what we did is we created a variable examples and uh, drop the quotes string into it the thing that need to be to care about that there should be no space in between the variable and the value it is assigned to in shell so if we put the space in there the, uh, the syntax error will be there so there will be no there should be no space in any command 
okay so here we did what is the output of this so just uh, let's just find the output of that so this is too many examples so examples is in double quotes example is in double quotes which definitely means that these quotes will get converted to the value so too many quotes it is working fine it is converted now what we are having in the next so just take care about all the uh, all the quotes so this is one this is two this is three and this is one this one is done this is second this one is also done this one is third so basically none of them is single quote right all are all are double quotes and as we know in this so dollar where will be executed as its value but in the other case it won't happen okay right so now we have this this of uh, this program so in this program we have written like echo too many well examples that is the same as this but we can see that there is single quotes in the here so what single quotes here means is it will convert all the value that is present to just a text and will not uh, change any value in the uh, like in the string to the value of the variable so it is just created too many examples without changing anything now this is again a new case so what it is is they are having this one and this one so what it means is then we have just converted that so in the whole system there are this is a whole string that is converted with single quotes and there are two that is in a uh, single double quotes then many is in again double quotes then examples in double quotes right so example is in double quotes and single quotes both so when we are using this one then the issue is a little new so what the issue is let me just change the color and will highlight the things let's just highlight it so there is the starting of single quote and there is the starting of different single quote so what that means is the examples is not in the single quotes like in this case from start to end everything was in single quotes so that's why the whole output was printed in a similar manner there was nothing like single quotes so this worked well but in this case uh, the star single quote started from here and ended till here and it till here so started from here and ended till here but then started again from here and ended till here so this one was uh, this uh, like this whole yellow part was converted into the similar thing that it is already and then the quotes was without uh, without a single quotes then it worked fine it worked well it worked well and it just converted the value to the variable and then again the next part was converted with uh, quotes so it did in the that way. so again let me just tell you that in this case we were not using any quotes and it converted the value to this so only the case in which we are using single quotes in the single quotes and the slash dollar where so it will present dollar where only without any change okay so the triad of searching so till now we have learned two commands that is echo and cat and the last one was just few examples of echo more so we have just learned about two commands echo and where and that was important because we have to learn about scripting so that is the important thing then 
there is the triad of searching so if you want to search anything in the line or uh, in a file then there should be something so that something is yeah that something is this that is called grep grep can be sound like can sound a little weird but it is just like grep so you can just uh, take the assumption that grep is grabbing something so you can just uh, make analogies for that so grep so grep is search for lines in one or more files or from a standard input if you want to find some variables or some word in the thing and then we can use grep there is basic and extended regular expressions or even plain text and perl regexes so regex is regular expressions so many options are inverse match only match and show number lines so these things can be used with grep and i think we will be covering grep in the next class till then you have to try and experiment with echo and uh, cat so these things are to be practiced well before moving into the other things so i will share you the credentials of the aws system that there you can practice a lot with echo and create new files and can present all the files there so yeah that's it for today's class so any doubt any doubt